member from Prince Edward Hastings. Thanks, Speaker, and good morning. Uh, Speaker, my question is for the Premier. Yesterday, StatsCan revealed that Ontario is reporting uh, and exporting twice as much electricity as it did 12 years ago, and we're getting less money for it. Ontarians are paying more and more for electricity that this government is handing over to New York and Michigan at clearance sale prices. Speaker, after years of triple-digit increases for Ontario businesses, why is this government continuing to export electricity to competitors at rock-bottom prices? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased to uh, stand and clarify the opposition's points again on the energy um, sector. Mr. Speaker, at the end. The member from uh, Niagara West Glenbrook will come to order, and I am going to be as insistent as I have been. If you wish to go to warnings, carry on. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for example, in 2015, at the end of the year, when you look at the full balance sheet, Mr. Speaker, we made over $300 million in the electricity sector. Same thing, Mr. Speaker, with 2014 and 2013, which is a lot better, Mr. Speaker, than when they were in power and had to spend $700 million to buy power from the other jurisdictions, Mr. Speaker. We've invested $70 billion to rebuild the system. We now have inter Second time, the member from uh, Simcoe Gray. Carry on. We now have inner ties where we can and share sir? electricity with our, our neighbours, Mr. Speaker. We should be proud of the system that we've built, Thank one you. that is actually clean, green, and affordable. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, the Minister of Energy continues to make it up as he goes along, but the stats show that we are exporting more and we're getting less for it. The only reason the government can stand up and make these claims is because they actually changed the system operator's monthly reporting requirement so we no longer know what the cost was to produce the power it was exported. And that's the key. But we do know, Mr. Speaker, because we all know that we're paying way more than two and a half cents a kilowatt hour to produce electricity in Ontario. All you have to do is look at the contracts that this government has signed over a 20-year period. The minister is back to the five Liberal Ds of question period. Dodge, delay, defer, destroy, and delete. Speaker, why is it that Ontario is providing electricity at low, low prices to everyone but Ontario? <laughs> You see the piece? You see the piece? Thank you. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Again, so we know the whole system, Mr. Speaker, and making sure that at the end of the year our balance sheet shows a profit. But let's also look at the record that they had, Mr. Speaker. In 2002, they paid $500 million to import electricity. In 2003, $400 million to import electricity. Reliability was a concern, so they increased the use of dirty coal by 127%. Since 2003, the Conservatives, Mr. Speaker, had made sure that they were ensuring that we would look at ways of bringing back more coal power. Even the former uh, the, the member from Simcoe Gray, he goes, this summer when we didn't have enough electricity in the province because we hit peak temperatures and all the air conditioners were running, we had to buy power. I had to pay $7 million one day to keep the air conditioners on in our hospitals. Answer. That was highway robbery. It was then, Mr. Speaker, and it is now. We're going to continue to to advocate and build a system that everyone can rely on, Mr. Speaker. Thank Final supplementary. Thanks, Speaker. And again, I know it's difficult for the minister to understand, but the stats can numbers are really, really simple. In 2005, we were exporting power at 6.6 .6 cents a kilowatt hour. Now we're exporting it at less than two and a half cents a kilowatt hour. In Liberal Ontario, the price actually went down for everyone but our ratepayers. Now we're footing the bill President so businesses in Buffalo, in Albany, in Rochester, in Syracuse, in Lansing, in Ann Arbor can enjoy cheap electricity and poach our jobs here in Ontario. Speaker, can the minister tell the House when he plans to stop exporting Ontario's competitive advantage to the United States? Thank you. Minister. Speaker, in Belleville, in London, in Renfrew. The member from Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke, come to order, particularly when I just sat down. 
Carry on. In Sudbury, in Toronto, in Hamilton, in Ottawa, everyone in this province has seen a reduction of 25 percent thanks to this government. The opposition, you know what they did, Mr. Speaker? They voted against it. So you know what we've done, Mr. Speaker? If we've helped every single family in this province, unlike the opposition who has no plan, who has no, no idea, Mr. Speaker, we've brought forward enough uh, a plan to make sure that we can support everybody in the province. 40 to 50 percent reductions in many parts of our rural parts of our province and in our northern part of the province, Mr. Speaker. Our plan is working. It's lowering yes, rates. It's clean. It's green. It's affordable, Mr. Speaker. We've eliminated coal, something that that party would have never done, Mr. Thank Speaker. You.